Hello and welcome to the Ray Make a Do It channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this sunshade and also the temperature difference between what it is without the sunshade, uh, with this type of sunshade, and then also the temperature with an umbrella. Uh, so stay tuned. So there are two main parts that I purchased. Uh, feel free to click the link below. My channel gets a couple of pennies and it's no extra cost to you. The first part is the sun sail. The second part is a anchor kit. So the anchor kit includes um, two uh, kind of tightening, um, kind of two tightening adapters, and then also um, four um, anchors that you screw into the, the siding of your house. I also had to purchase a few other items from the local Home Improvement Big Box store. The first one uh, came from the electrical area. It is a conduit hanger. So that conduit hanger is what is clamped to the top of the pole that the um, fastening bracket is held onto. And I have one for each side. The second one is also in the electrical department. It is just a strap, so it's a two-hole strap. One screw goes on each side, and I have two of those, one on top of the rail and one on the bottom of the rail. Uh, the second parts that I purchased were in the um, plumbing section. So these, one is a 10-foot galvanized pipe, and then the second part is the um, it's a floor flange. So the reason why I decided to purchase the galvanized pipe from the plumbing section and not a uh, conduit pipe from the electrical section was because the uh, galvanized pipe was threaded. So it allowed me to screw into the floor flange and then screw it onto the deck. The electrical section, the conduit pipe, um, the reason why I did not use that is because it's not threaded. It just is a little screw that kind of pinches on, but if the sail were to fly away, it may um, slip out of the um, electrical conduit clamp and then just bring the pole up with it. So that's why I decided to go with the plumbing section because of the threading. I'm also using a 10 foot, this is a three quarter inch um, galvanized pipe. In the electrical section for the clamps, these are one inch outer diameter clamps. So for the install, the steps are uh, basically to tie the string to the clip of the sun sail. And then once the uh, galvanized pipe has been installed, then you just tighten it um, with the tightening fastener. For the um, second part with the uh, siding, I just used four screws to screw it into the siding. Make sure to use silicone to prevent any water moisture from going into your siding. Uh, once I did that, then I just kept tightening it up until I got to uh, the desired uh, tightness and also that there is a little bit of pitch in the sun sail. So I just did a quick test of using a meat thermometer, the temperatures between no sun sail, the temperature with the sun sail, and then the temperature of the sun sail and a uh, patio umbrella. So the temperature just in the sun uh, on the deck is 95 degrees. With the sun sail shade, it's six degrees cooler. Uh, about 89 degrees and with the sun sail and the patio umbrella it was about two degrees cooler than that so I think just the sun sail alone um, provides a lot of um, 
benefits of the temperature decrease and it was uh, pretty easy for me to install it took about once I figured out the components and the design it took about uh, an hour to two hours to uh, have the sun sail up so I hope this video helped if you thought it was good please click the like button and feel free to subscribe to my channel for any DIYs how to's and product reviews and my name is Raymond if I can do it you can too